Hello everybody, this is Truman Talks Treasure, I'm Truman. The treasure I'll be talking about today is going to be my hat collection. I don't even know how many hats I have. Let's find out together. Hello, how are you doing? Yes, no? Uh, this one is fur. The uh, camera doesn't do a very good job of showing the texture. If I get really close. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Anyways, this one has flaps that come down. I wear it in the winter time. For those of you wondering, uh, this grape size is six and seven eighths. Another winter hat here. I wear this one quite often as well. It's got a little bill. This one folds down if you need it to. Snap right there. Get it down like that if you need to uh, fight the snow and when it comes down, but I usually just keep it up and wear it like this. Ah, this little camera doesn't do too hot with showing the texture of stuff, does it? Um, this is a cloth hat. Uh, actually, I wear this one quite often. Apparently, we're in the winter hat box right now. This one still has a tag. I uh, sometimes hang these up as decorations to make people what, uh, wonder what I've been up to. Full body mask. Nobody move! Um, I don't wear this one too often, but I do have it if I need it. Yes, obviously the winter hat. Why are you quit? I don't understand why that one keeps on stopping the recording, but you kept on recording, I hope, and hopefully you can hear me. I won't know until I do the playback. Fingers crossed. This one's for winter wear. I'm going to keep this one out somewhere close. I'm going to end with just a gigantic pile of hats is what's going to happen. Time to make the soup. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can wear these uh, chef's hats. The classic style, Chef Boyardee, sort of like that. It's also pretty popular to wear them up high nowadays. Oh, sort of like halfway there, like like, like a uh, the end of a drumstick sort of thing. You can also go all the way straight up. I see that if you're being fancy nowadays. This one you'll see me if I go out for St. Patty's Day. Just a wacky, goofy hat there. It's uh, like a vinyl, a plastic vinyl type of hat. My first straw hat out of to come out of one of the hot, uh, hat boxes right here. Let's go exploring ah, 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 to the mountain. Something like that, whatever. This is my winter pearl jam hat. I think it has the PJ right there on the back. This one can also come down, cover your ears nice and keep it keep you nice and warm. That's a uh, sort of fur lined right there a little bit. You see that? Also wear it up like this sometimes, not very often. So there we go, like that. Like that. Rock the Pearl Jam hat. All right, the last hat in that box. Ooh, is that backwards? I don't know. This one doesn't have any way for letting me know. It's like that. All right, this one might be a full on 10 gallon straw hat. I don't know how they measure those because definitely 10 gallons wouldn't fit in there, but 10 gallons would be like one fifth of a 10 gallon drum. That's a lot of, that's a lot of gallons for a hat. Ah, oh, one of my Panama Jack hats. Let's go enjoy some nice weather somewhere. Somewhere warm and sunny with sand and like an ocean. That'd be great. This is probably considered more like a wig. 
technically. But it's on my head. There it is. Oh, this one's got bells. This one's got bells. All right. This one does have the bells. Um, all the orange and blue hats you see are from Boise State stuff. Uh, I live in Boise, Idaho. The hometown college team is the Broncos, and their colors are the blue and orange. So if they have a parade or a big thing, you know, wah, Broncos, that kind of thing. Ching, 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 ching. Here's one I'd wear out on the 4th of July. Sometimes I'll put like newspaper or something like that, stuffed newspaper, so it's all stiff and stands all the way up like that. Because otherwise it'll flop over. There, now I'm wearing it at a cocky angle. Oh, another mask, Balaclava. For when I might be out, want to go out skateboarding, but it's like, 19 degrees out, something like that, and that'll store my uh, steam my glasses up right away. And also wear it like this. Yeah, mm. let's go uh, do some ninja ninja stuff. I think this is the last one like this, the hooded hats there. For what? I didn't do anything. Why do you ask? This one's got just a little bit of yarn keeping that separated. Oh, those are a little tough to wear. Here's one of uh, a friend made this hat for me right here. I say uh, it kind of looks like I have horns there, you know. But uh, don't worry what I've been up to. I've also worn it like this, but mostly goes over my ears, keeping me toasty, warm. Uh, yeah, an old roommate hand knitted it. <laughs> All right, here's my second Pearl Jam hat, also a winter hat. Um, I call it my receptacle hat as well, because it's got, uh, looks like you could just stick up like, a, like the end of a condom type of situation. I also, in fact, I usually do this if I'm wearing it, sort of tuck its end in on itself a little bit. End up wearing it like that. Pearl Jam hat. Let's go skiing. Oh, here's a goofy one. I think this might be an actual goofy hat. It is. It's got a tag on the inside that says Disneyland Resorts. And uh, I'll get all the way back so you guys can see. It's got these uh, ears as if you were, you know, goofy. Goof troop. There's that one. I, uh, when they have the... the the freak parades and, and that sort of thing, or the festivals, I might break well, that goofy hat out. This is a London fog hat. I'll actually wear this out if it's raining and I need to uh, get somewhere if I can't find my umbrella. Or uh, my Inspector Gadget hat. I wish I had a uh, magnifying glass. I'd use it right now. This is one of my only video game hats. It's got the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog right there. I don't wear it too often. It's this flat brimmed hat. It's a little bit big for my head and it still hurts my forehead right there, rubs against it. It does say that, Sonic the Hedgehog, on the bottom there if you want to wear it up like that. Like, yo, yo, yo. He's all goofy and woo, bring the house down, whatever. Sideways like that, whatever. 
Here's one that I got for selling hammocks at the Midway Festival where they're all about being Swiss in Midway, Utah. That's apparently where its roots are. And uh, I would dress up like this. It's got the red. Ah, I wish that would show the colors off a little bit better there. It's got the, uh, what is that, a little decoration there right there on the side. Anyways, it is hot wearing this because their festival in the middle of summer, but you still have to wear stuff like this to act like you're in Switzerland or whatever. You know, everyone knows these, these hats, these ghillie hats. Oh, something got in my eyeball. Brody. Oh. Yeah, everyone knows these hats. You put uh, stuff in there and then like, go through the jungle looking for the enemy. Da, 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 da. This hat my father picked up for me while he was on a business trip in Japan. It's got a yarn hair little thing like that. I've seen people look at me while I'm wearing this sometimes like, is that your real hair? Like, what's up? Like, konnichiwa and whatnot. My SpongeBob SquarePants visor. My head's sticking through, but you see that right there. He's giving a big old winky wink. There's a headband from the Color Run. That's when they throw the chalk all over the place and your sweat gets all different colors. It's a fun little event. If they have it in your town, sign up. It's a good time. It's just a classic little ball cap. It is a casino there on top. Terrible casinos. I don't know if terrible casinos is like a type, a brand of casinos, like called terrible, or if someone just doesn't like casinos and had this hat made or, or whatever. Oi, oi, oi. This is uh, just a trucker cap with the Union Jack right there on the top with London going across it. Oi, oi. This is another hat that has built in hair, man. It ain't too shabby. I wear it sometimes and people are like, what's going on with that guy's hair? You should be going, but what's going on with that guy's accent, man? Here's just a classic one that I wear occasionally, a nice tight fitting Velcro back ball cap. Nothing wrong with this guy. Here's a classic winter hat here. You can probably wear it up like that if you want it, dude. No, you can't because this thing's busted. It's missing its other thing on that side. It is a Gore-Tex cap means the uh, water just sort of rushes right off it all right this is something I got at work I host a pub quiz once a week for geeks who drink and that's a ball cap that they uh, sent me after working with them for a while all right here's a little knitted guy with a built-in bill the bill definitely has something in it like plastic or cardboard to keep it structurally sound you can tuck this up or leave it down however much you need to cover the back of your neck based on the current weather conditions all right this is the one i wear if i'm ever looking for cats to put in the hats Here's a nice hat if you're doing a walkabout somewhere. Uh, it provides quite a bit of shade, and it's got the mesh top to it there. So it really breathes and whatnot. If it's windy, you can cinch her on up like that. I don't wear this one too much. I don't wear this one too much, but it's... Which of these are in the root rotation? Which ones aren't? I mean, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Depends on how my head feels. Here's a hat that I always have out. This one is in the rotation a lot. 
Um, there's a couple different ways you can wear it. You can snap it down like that and just make it all floppy floppy. It's uh, nice and loose because I've worn it a ton. That's usually how I wear it. You can pop this one up too if it's uh, windy. Give people a little, hey, what's up? Here's another one I got for the Midway Festival. Get a little closer so you guys can see the detail on that. All right, I got another visor. Dodgers, they lost in the World Series this year. Maybe they'll be back next year. If I'm feeling goofy, I'll, I'll wear them up like this sometimes. I've also been known to do a little of this. Classic black, simple felt hat. It's really easy peasy goes with a lot another just black hat here except this doesn't go with as many things it's just a top hat there we go i gotta move back so you can see that just like this guys maybe if i had a monocle let's take over the world I call this one my Bear Bryant hat. If you don't know who Bear Bryant is, he was a coach for the Dallas Cowboys. Another unique straw hat. I'm not sure where I picked this one up. I forget. I'm sure it was a thrift store, but I don't know which one. Anything like that. I wear this one more often than I should. Here's an old hat. It's designed to have these wrinkles in it. They sewed them in right like that. I'm a little confused about this one, though, because it says it was made in Italy and it says it was made in the United States. Two different labels, both inside the hat. Oh, oh, oh this is one of my favorite hats to break out, you know, you know, throughout the year and have different people try it out and like, <laughs> like try it and take your picture, man, and they're like, woo! Yeah, this one's uh, red and velvety. Red and velvety. I uh, have a red or purplish red, maroon, whatever you want to call it, tracksuit, jumpsuit type of thing. And I'll pop this guy on when I'm wearing that. Oh, I'll be fly to the max. I got nothing against trains. I like trains. Trains are fun. What? What's your problem with me liking trains? Alright, this is one of my go-to cowboy hats when I'm wearing a cowboy hat. I like the fact it's got the braided leather that hangs down like that. Um, I'm not sure if you're getting the full effect of... There we go. You can sort of see the uh, texture of my nice leather hat, y'all. And I know you guys might not believe me now, but this is a different hat. See? Different thing in the back. Although, still very similar. All right, this one gets in the way of stuff often. Uh, it's actually a helmet. Uh, this one's fun to wear when you're trying to get people to say, what is that guy wearing? This, uh, I'm not sure why I picked this up. But I did, and now I own it. And it is a lot of hat, a lot of colorful hat. It has this useless piece of string, apparently. Like, that's not going to keep anything on whatsoever. It won't. That's not going to it'll blow right off your head. Whoosh. I don't know when I'm going to use this hat. But when I do, it's going to be freaking awesome. I got this one for one to feel like I want to be a rebel. The star there is offset. you think that'd be the center? But it's not. If I center the, the star there, then the hat is not. I don't know if it was made poorly or if it's a design choice that I just don't understand. This one is when you go to SeaWorld. 
and you buy a overpriced hat. That's what this is for. And uh, pretend like you're chewing on something with your hat. You can do it because there's a killer whale on my hat. My hat. This is another version of one of those crazy hats with the crazy hair, really in the crazy hat. It's not as, I don't like this one as much. This one definitely looks like the hair is much more faker. And I don't like the faker hair. This is another good one for when I go out in the winters to talk with the Donald. Oh, this one is one of those umbrella hats. It hurts to wear this thing, in my opinion. Even though it's just elastic, it doesn't take much to put this thing on and your head to start go ow, ow. You can't, uh, if I put my head down a little bit like that, you can't see the elastic band as much. But uh, the elastic band is there and it cuts off the circulation. And why is the, is everything getting, I should take this off. This is like my Italy rowing the uh, gondola boat there, singing a song in Italiano. I uh, wore this when I was driving people around in basically a taxi for the government. Driving people for the government. This is my I'm a bad man hat. I've been a bad man, Sheriff. I'm a bad man. Let's go with a draw. Wee bam. Um, this is black beaver. Resisto is the maker of these people. But it says it is made. But it says it is made from beaver. Also from the Disney store. A little Daffy Duck girl. I don't remember what her name is, but uh, I got her hat. Another handmade hat from somebody else, a neighbor. The uh, holes on it uh, in the knitting are kind of big, so if there's any sort of breeze, goes right through. A little Fargo hat, don't you know? That's what this is. This is uh, leather and the, uh, the fur wind. I don't know if you can uh, make that out or not, or if you can, but uh, this is the hat and what. It uh, also has the, uh, bring it down like this, you know? And if the wind's blowing, you can uh, really cover up. It'll be nice. I usually just uh, wear it like this for your uh, winters, don't you know? This is my Newsies hat. Get your paper, get your paper right here. You can, uh, it's got a little snap right here. You can wear it up like that, like uh, ding, ding, speed delivery. Product of El Mexico. Mexico, this one's got a lot of detail. I picked this up for five dollars. I still have the tag. Right there, if you can see that. I'm sure you can. Well, I'm not sure you can, but I'm sure I showed it. Uh, it's got a lot of detail all the way through that hat. A lot. Very shiny. I have another one I'm going to be showing you in just a second. But uh, it's very stiff. Stiff hat. I wore this hat for years as my winter hat. It's a pretty classic looking hat, softer bill. It does have a little bit of the ear cover if you need it. Here is the other hat I was talking about. This has got a little bit of design, not near as much as the sparkle of the other one though. But it's still a very nice hat, yo. Oh, this is the ugliest hat in the world. The ugliest hat that there could ever be is right here. I think you can wear it a variety of different ways. None of them helps with it not being the ugliest hat in the world. The ugliest hat in the world. Here is
is a classic tin hard hat. This guy, I think, is from the 60s. This is a more modern construction hat. It's made of plastic and has a lot more room. It's probably safer, but not as cool. This one is a hard hat and a helmet. Hard hat and a helmet. You can get right up in there. Get right up in there. Yeah. And another classic old hard hat. This is a miner's cap. You can see kind of where they would be able to mount the uh, light. This is made very interestingly. They uh, use a resin and essentially gauze. I think that might be all the hats. Did you guys keep track of how many I had or do I need to probably count it up in post? That's probably what I'll do. That's been my hat collection for 2017. Until next time, guys, keep hitting the books.